Hola everyone, friends, Alan here. I uh, decided to do um, the Honest Booktubers book tag. I was tagged by Dane Cobain at Dane Reads. Uh, thanks mate. <clears throat> and I hope I don't um, make anyone mad or lose <laughs> any more subscribers. I lose about, I don't know, two a week sometimes, and I don't know why. Um, uh, it's not really important to me. I do everything on my phone. I don't get the, uh, like, YouTube analysis. Um, you need to be online with a computer, and I'm, I don't get Wi-Fi on purpose, so I can write, you know. I mean, I've got a friend laptop here. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Just do it, says Nike. Okay. Hope everyone's happy. Time to get honest with the, the honest booktuber tag. Um, uh, link below to Dane Reads. I don't know where the original came from, but here we go. Ten questions. One, have you ever lied about reading a book? Can't say I have. And I thought about it. I don't think I did, you know, um, even in like school, uh, junior high, high school. Um, I was lucky enough to have great English and theater teachers. So I, I like to read. I, I took English all four years in high school and um, acted and all that. Now it's a shame we don't have that in public schools now. Or if we do, even with sports, extracurricular activities, the parents have to pay for them. Uh, at least for I've been. Two, have you ever avoided a book because of controversy around the content or author? And uh, there again, no. Sometimes it attracts me. I, I, uh, um, I just finished this brick, 777 pages if I remember, plus, yeah, uh, Call Me Burroughs, A Life by Baron Miles, I'll be do reviewing this with a warning, um, not in the beginning, but uh, when I get to the, a lot of uh, sexual stuff in there, you know, and um, just kind of like, uh, Marlon James, James's Black Leopard Red Wolf, which I love, but yeah, you might as well compare it to that in my mind, it's just, anyway, so, no, I, I like Bukowski, um, Cormac McCarthy, Harry Cruz, who I need to do a, uh, a video on, like all his books are, anyway, three, have you ever been sent a book for free and not disclosed it. Nope. Uh, not yet. Points to, not yet. Uh, looking for a sponsor. Powell's Books. Right. Uh, four. Have you ever bought a book with no intention of reading it? And like, uh, well, Dane uh, answered this as, uh, yeah, he buys books uh, for gifts and uh, he buys his own books. Uh, to give away to it, but he doesn't reread them again, of course. But even when I buy, I buy a lot. I buy uh, books for gifts quite often, and I, and quite often they're books I've already read. But other than that, um, it's other than that. Uh, I mean, the uh, collected Shakespeare coffee table book I I had in Toledo, Ohio, to impress first dates when they walked. In, no, no. Uh, okay, here we go. Just some honesty. Uh, five, have you ever got caught up in a booktube drama? Mm, not that I know of, but some hinky shit has been going on. I mean, I've only had this channel eight months. And uh, um, from what I can understand of the analysis, it does make sense to me. Like, uh, 
But okay, uh, let me just get into this. Like, uh, on April 16th, I still have the reply that uh, I sent. I had to unsubscribe to uh, uh, Strip Covered Lit because I realized I, I've been a subscriber since last year. This year is going really fast, isn't it? I think Dalton's replied a couple times. But um, Adrian, I noticed it never uh, replied to my comments. And it's like, I, I like Bukowski a lot. I've been a fan since forever. Here's a couple of magazines, Adam Mind since 19, Adam Mind, uh, Mind. Here's Spring 95, Winter 94. This is on the beats, but there's, uh, you know, and uh, there's Ferengetti, Ginsburg, but uh, Bukowski and I, we're in some of the same magazines back in the day, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I, I was jovial with the dude. They, they did uh, recently a portrait of the artist as a young man. I'm a Joycean. You know, I applauded that. And then doing that, um, and some of it was kind of rough to watch. But anyway, I, I realized on that day, <clears throat> they, he had... Adrian had done another tag, and he had never, not only had he never commented or replied to any of my comments, but he had never tagged me in all of his tags for, you know, five, six months. I've only been around him for eight months. And the last tag, he tagged, um, I don't know, 12 people, call it 14, and out of those 12, like five of them were subscribers of, of mine. So it's like half the people he tagged are subscribers of mine, yet he's never t tagged me. Um, I, that's kind of hokey, you know. And so I asked him, um, did I offend you? Where is he, is animosity coming from? Did I say or write something? What did I do? Uh, no reply. So uh, live and let live. Okay, the next one. Uh, I mentioned this before last year, but uh, six. Have you ever had a hate comment, and did you respond? Um, I've had uh, several. A couple. I catch on fast. It doesn't happen to me often. I don't have many subscribers, you know. But uh, I caught on fast. One guy was provoking me, and I just nipped that in the butt. I realized he had no content. In, but another guy, I'm going to shout his name out again. His name is John Keane, and he does have a lot of subscribers. Now he's a guy, I think he lives in Michigan, and I'm from Toledo, Ohio, so it's border of Michigan, Detroit. Uh, this guy's an old guy, white hair, beard. Uh, he's a, a real, he journals a lot. These are my journals. I got like four or five going on now. But he uh, really dedicated with his journals and blah, 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 whatever. He used to shit on my page until I, uh, blocked him about Portland. Like, uh, well, what's going on in Portland? AFTA's doing a, I see they're doing a protest out in Portland. What about that? And, uh, you know, um, I don't know what AFTA does. I really don't. I, uh, I've never been to a protest here. I like the parades. Cause I like living, I live downtown in the heart of it. And um, anyway, he kept doing that. I, at first I'm laughing, I'm going, lots of laughs. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going, dude, I just live here. What? And he wouldn't stop. Anyway, talking shit about Portland. Number seven, have you ever made a video just because you knew it would get views? And no, this goes to like, I, I can't figure rhyme or reason at this. My top watched um, and liked, I think, uh, video was just a few months ago on Black Leopard, Red Wolf, the Marlon James book, which I love. Um, second is uh, Victober 2018 TBR. And the third, they tie. It's a uh, recent Marching Mammoths update on uh, um, Bolaños 2666 and the recent Dubliners 2019 Intro to the Sisters. So, my stuff gets a lot of hits, and then it's mostly tags. My stuff gets um, 
hits later, even from uh, last August, like my uh, Faulkner stuff is just getting uh, commented on, on um, the light in August. Anyway, next. Eight, if you could go back to the beginning of your channel, would you do anything different? Yes, 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 you know. I really, uh, I think I came on way too strong I with my uh, my, my comments um, uh, n not negative or anything but I just I try to be uh, engaging that's what I want my channel to be more like I don't know why it can't be um, I watched a lot of uh, uh, English uh, girls that were uh, their quality of their videos were great like just Bookshelves, white, pristine, lined with books, brand new books, and uh, just spot on. And uh, then I watch like the advice things on how to get. I didn't. I still don't even know how to do hashtags, really. And I've asked people about it, and, uh, and so I don't know. Um, I'd like to do. I'd love to do more James Joyce, especially Ulysses and Finnegan's Wake. But you know, I don't. I don't believe it or not. I don't like talking to myself. That's why I have like abandoned things. We never finished up Dubliners 2019. Um, I'm gonna ask Brian if he'll do with me uh, like over Christmas. We'll do the dead. Then I'll just fill in the blanks before the end of the year. But I, like I never uh, finished the Faulkner stuff that I started because I feel like I'm talking to myself. Maybe I come off too teacherly. I mean, in another life, decades ago, I taught. You know if. So, please tell me. I, I don't mean to. I mean, I think I'm a pretty good teacher and pretty laid back. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, I, I would put big intros. I still have the videos. I'll, when I come to a year next August or this August, I'll do some like funny stuff. But... Intros that were two, three minutes long, music, da 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 da, da. I just, it's like, I wish someone would have told me, you do, make your intro like 30 seconds, at most. Anyway. Nine, are there any changes, are there any channels you wish you could be more like? Yeah, like, um, the slick ones that are really organized, like, um, well, Alex at Big L Bucks always coming on her, and, uh, uh, Clifford Sargent at Better Than Food Book Reviews. I think he started maybe a year before me, but I've seen him just woo, rise. And then you compare that to someone like uh, For the Love of Brian, who's been busy with his own writing for a few months. Uh, has a lot of subscribers. He's real laid back. Doesn't have any kind of... Uh, and uh, the book chemist either. They don't do like uh, things like me and others do like all this added editing it takes time and 10 what's something you love about your channel uh, mm. i always tell people it's um like being part of a worldwide book club with video and that's what i like about it being turned on to new things that's what i like so story, sticking to it, wish you happiness, <laughs> gosho, I'll talk to you later. I'm back, I forget, forgot to tag people, I'm going to tag three people, I tag um, Mary and Ryan, at Mary and Ryan, Jen at Remembered Reads, um, Alex Black at Alex Black and well, I always tag Brian I bookish I'm going to leave it at that thanks all